Hello and welcome to Back Paddock. Today we are going to look at how to make things a little bit easier and faster for you in the Soulmate program, which is all about customization. So if you open up the Soulmate program and go to management, this is where we're going to be able to really fine tune the program um, and your, therefore your processes to make things faster for you. So I like to work in two main folders. Um, the first one is the other products folder. So if you click on other products on the left hand side here, you can see that I have added um, some other products to the system. So you can right click in this space over here and click on add other products. Or if you look in the ribbon toolbar here, you'll see the same options appear. So if you add other products, these can be blends or even just things that are not available in the Soulmate product. So the big things are you want to select the product type, the supplier, and you can use the generic supplier if you don't want to select a, an actual supplier. Give it a name. It might be a blend. Um, and then enter your values. The other thing is here, you'll see there's a lime option and there's also a gypsum option. So if you are adding a gypsum or a lime, um, make sure that you're adding the values for, you know, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, whatever it is, but then also say that it's 100% gypsum if it is or 100% lime if it is. And that way, when you add that product, it will show up in the lime and gypsum sections of your recommendations. So my next favorite place, um, and this is the big one to do any customizations, are in the current advisor folder. So I'm going to double click that on the left to expand. And you can see here, these are all of the options we have. So at very basic, when you're looking at creating recommendations, if you are able to customize your application comments um, and your timing comments, this is going to give you a much shorter list. Now, if you have ever tried to scroll through to find the one you're after, um, there are several hundred options available in each and they all have an abbreviation which is available by default. So it can be quite a long list. Um, all you need to do is click on that application comments folder, click on the favorites star in the ribbon toolbar, and then tick the things that you do want to see in your favorites lists. Um, if we click on the next folder down, we can see what my current favorites are in my application comments. It's the same thing for timing comments. If I click on that folder, I see everything. If I click on the next folder down, I see just what my favorites are, and those are selected with the favorite star in the top toolbar. Evaluations are, of course, a big one. It is the same process. Click the folder once, click favorites in the ribbon toolbar, and then tick any of the favorites that you need. One important thing to look at in this section here in particular is the sample type. So it might be a soil or a plant tissue, or it could be a water. Um, make sure you are selecting the one that you want because you will be unable to interpret a soil sample, for example, with a plant tissue evaluation table because the results just don't line up. Um, the lab tests those samples in different ways. Um, now, product favorites, this is a great one. So if you click on favorites in the top of the toolbar, um, you know, maybe you only use certain suppliers, uh, maybe you only use half a dozen or a dozen different products, go through, tick the ones you want, close out, and those will be saved there. And then location favorites, this one you won't use as often, um, but you know, you only probably navigate through a few different areas, tick those ones off, um, click on the close button, and then you'll be able to use those. In the recommendation process itself, now let me just open up something that I've already got here. Um, where you'll see those favorites are, well, in the evaluation selection, this one's already been made. Um, in the recommendation tab here, so if I go to add a fertilizer, oh, apologies, I'm in a cane rack, so I do need to select where I am. If I go to add a fertilizer in any recommendation, you'll see this radio dial along the top here, favorites. So if you have um, selected some favorite products, then that reduces that list here. If you are in the middle of a recommendation and think it's a great idea, you can click on this favorites button off to the right here, um, select some additional favorites, close that, and then they'll be immediately added to your favorites list. So if you're halfway through a rec, then it's not too late. Um, when it comes to application comments and timing, if you do have a favorites list, then these will also be available in these sections here. If I go to select and click on favorites only, I see my much reduced list for me to choose from. Once again, that's the long list, select favorites only and my shorter list. I'll just add in a product so I can continue on with this one. Okay. 
Okay. Um, I think that's most of it. But as you can see, if we've gone from adding something with um, from a list of 500 or so to a list of six, uh, that should hopefully save you an awful lot of time. Um, feel free to ask any questions uh, by replying to this video. Reach out to Help Desk. We are absolutely here to help. Have a fantastic day.